Uh, shalom, my name is Guidon Ariel. I'm a teacher and the principal at Root Source, Israeli Jews teaching Christians worldwide. Today I'm going to give a special lesson regarding Har Habayit, the Temple Mount. Bayit means house or home, and uh, Ha means the, and Har means mount. So this is the mount of the house, and of course we're talking about the temple, which in Hebrew is the temp the Beit Hamikdash, the ho the the house of holiness, perhaps. Um, the Temple Mount has been in the news recently, as it often is, and uh, I'm just going to give you a little introduction uh, about the Temple Mount. It's an introduction for people who don't know much about it, and it's uh, a review uh, from my, my perspective, uh, for those of you who do. So let's uh, get started. Here's a, uh, uh, a picture of the Temple Mount from uh, the south. Here is uh, today, and has been for the past, I believe, 800 years, the uh, Dome of the Rock. It is called the Dome of the Rock because this, of course, is a dome. It's a golden dome, which, by the way, was uh, uh, made gold only uh, a few a few hundred years, not, not hundred, uh, less than a hundred years ago, and was once again refurbished to its shiny gold hue um, less than uh, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, under Israeli control. It sits on top of the rock, which is why it's called the Dome of the Rock. Um, and that rock is what we call in Hebrew, Evan Hashtia, the, the, the uh, foundation stone. And that is exactly where the temple uh, stood in the time of David and then actually in the time of Solomon. It was built by King Solomon. David's son, and uh, that was the first temple was built by Solomon, and then ultimately the second temple was built by King Herod, interestingly enough, and uh, we look forward to the third temple also being built on the Temple Mount. Uh, Jews have a little bit of difficulty uh, going up to the Temple Mount today, it's, uh, that's the whole story really. Uh, but uh, over the past uh, decade or so, more and more Jews have become interested in going up to the Temple Mount, not inside the Dome of the Rock, which is the point, which is exactly the spot where the uh, Holy of Holies stood. So uh, that is a very, very holy spot that Jews who follow the, the laws recognize that uh, to visit there is improper. However, just as Jews went up to the Temple Mount throughout history when it was standing in the time of the first temple and the time of the second temple, thus these Jews with proper preparation go up to the Temple Mount today. And here you see a small group of uh, Jews who went up to the Temple Mount and are keeping their distance from the inner sanctum or the, the inner uh, courtyard, but they are presenting as you, uh, they are standing as you can see um, with much uh, respect and honor for the temple itself. Please note, well this you can't really see it here too well, but this young gentleman is barefoot because there is a rule that you're not allowed to go up to the Temple Mount, a, a, a law from the Torah, from the Bible, that you're not allowed to go up to the Temple Mount with shoes on as a sign of respect. Now, uh, I mentioned before that it's a little bit of a problem for Jews to go up to the Temple Mount today. Here's a picture of, uh, of Muslims praying on the Temple Mount. You might be able to notice here's the head of one uh, Muslim praying. Here's another one. In other words, this is a very tight uh, fit of thousands of Muslims on the Temple Mount. But please note, they are praying towards Mecca, which is uh, the uh, in the south 
south of the land of Israel, south of the Temple Mount. And so they are praying away from the, the, the spot of the temple, praying away, putting their backs towards the, uh, the Dome of the Rock, which they claim is so uh, holy for them, but uh, they clearly do not pray towards it, as opposed to, of course, Jews, that the temple is the most holy spot in the world for uh, Jews. Uh, as opposed to Muslims who are entitled today for various political reasons to play, pray on the Temple Mount. The Jews are not. Here's a, a picture of my friend Arnon Segal, who uh, is standing uh, by the entrance to the Temple Mount. It is locked for him. Uh, he wanted to go up and pray on the Temple Mount. He was unable to. That's why he is praying with his uh, with his tefillin, his phylacteries. Interestingly enough, he's a uh, a lefty like me, which is why he wears his phylacteries on the on his right arm. Oh, we can teach about uh, the phylacteries some other time. Also about the uh, the prayer shawl. He is wearing a prayer shawl that has um, blue strands in it. That is another uh, thing of today. A lot of interesting developments going on in in uh, Jewish ritual. Um, activities because of the development of them and the study of them since Jews came back to the land of Israel. Uh, this sign is, is put up here by the chief rabbi of Israel um, who evidently for uh, I, I think for political reasons are holding on to the tradition of not entering the Temple Mount at all but uh, and even calls it strictly forbidden. But the but I, I personally go up to the Temple Mount whenever I get a chance, and there are thousands of people, maybe even tens of thousands of people, who have done so over the past ten years or so, because they first of all believe that there are areas of the Temple Mount, of course, that you are permitted to go up to. Otherwise, how did Jews go up to the Temple Mount when they? Uh, gave their sacrifices, of course. There's a, an area on the Temple Mount that is called Izrat Yisrael, the, the area of, uh, of the Jewish people. There's also an Izrat Nashim, the area of, of uh, women. There was a separation of the genders, the sexes on the Temple Mount for uh, holiness and, uh, and uh, for, for reasons of holiness and of uh, tzniyut, of modesty. And there was even a space for uh, non-Jews to go up to the Temple Mount. All of this when Jews were in charge of the Temple itself and, of course, the land of Israel. Um, so today there are, like I said, thousands of Jews who uh, recognize their right to go up to the, the Temple Mount, also from Torah law, also from Jewish law, and also from the point of view of uh, this is ours and we want to assert our um, ownership for this land as well. The, the, the Temple Mount itself, together with the Kotel and uh, the, the uh, Western Wall and other important holy spots in the land of Israel and Jer Jerusalem itself, in fact the entire city, the old walled city of Jerusalem, uh, was captured by the Jordanians in 1948 and for 19 years it, they were off limits completely to all Jews and all Israelis, but in 1967 uh, the Israeli army, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, um, liberated Jerusalem and liberated the Temple Mount, and it's a, a one of the uh, one of the best known phrases in Israeli history is when the general who was in charge of uh, the the Six Day War of, of the war in Jerusalem, uh, his name was Motagur, he announced on. Uh, the the army radio on his uh, uh, walkie-talkie, but it was afterwards broadcast to all of Israel and all the world. Har habayit biyadenu, the Temple Mount is in our hands, which of course is what uh, a, uh, a, a an army commander says when he when he conquers the uh, the land that he was uh, commanded to do. So, but. Uh, that idea of Harabait Biadenu, the, the Temple Mount is in our hands, is not only from a military perspective, 
but in fact from a Jewish Israeli perspective. So we hope that we will be able to continue going up to the Temple Mount. Um, many VIPs have done so. Here's a picture of our friend Danny Danon. Uh, today he's the uh, ambassador of the State of Israel to the United Nations. Here he is visiting the Temple Mount, again asserting uh, uh, Israeli um, Israeli uh, responsibility. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Sovereignty. Israeli sovereignty on the uh, on the, the Mount of Israel, of uh, the Temple Mount. And here's our good friend, uh, Yehuda Glick. We haven't mentioned him in this, uh, in this uh, lesson yet, but uh, perhaps more than any other person alive today, Yehuda Glick is a symbol of uh, Jewish sovereignty on uh, the Temple Mount. He, uh, for many years, uh, served as uh, the number one guide on the Temple Mount for Jews and other non-Muslims. By the way, the, uh, uh, the, uh, today, as I believe I clarified, there's uh, significant uh, um, inability, restrictions for, uh, for non-Muslims to go up to the Temple Mount, unless you're going there as a tourist to, to uh, see and uh, support uh, Muslim sovereignty or uh, the uh, Muslim sovereignty on the Temple Mount. But if you want to go up and as a, as a Jew or as a supporter of Jews, then it's much more difficult. We make the, we'll get to there in a moment. Here's another picture of uh, Yehuda Glick uh, standing right by the spot of the Holy of Holies. And here are uh, uh, three young boys who, uh, who uh, also went up with with perhaps their, their parents or something like that. This is, uh, like I said, something that happens from time to time. More and more today, um, Israeli Jews are visiting the uh, Temple Mount to show themselves, the, their nation, the whole world, and especially God, how much they are looking forward to, uh, to the holiness that the building of the Temple will, will bring us into, uh, into our lives. Now, uh, the reason that this is, uh, that the Temple Mount has been in the news recently, we're recording this uh, lesson in the summer of 2016, is because of uh, this picture. I didn't find the original, but uh, this picture, as you can see, of this uh, family wa became part of this whole poster. What's the story with this, po with this family? These are Amichai and Rina Ariel, a couple uh, from Kiryat Arba near Hebron, not far from where I live. They are very active in a uh, movement called Nashim Lema'an Hamikdash, the, the uh, women, the Women's League for the Temple Mount, perhaps, or the Temple. And uh, they, therefore, have gone up to the Temple Mount numerous times in themselves. They've even brought their children. They have uh, about I think eight children. And here is a picture of them with their daughter, Hallel. Hallel, her, her name means uh, praise, like hallelujah, hallelujah. And uh, you might have heard that tragically uh, Hallel was murdered by a terrorist even in her own bed in Kiryat Arba um, last month uh, in uh, June of uh, 2016. Um, Rina and Ar Amichai, Halel's parents, uh, leveraged this uh, tragedy and uh, brought it up to a much better place. And they said, we're asking everybody who um, is uh, shocked by this murder, but recognizes that uh, we need to turn this into something good. We want everybody who's willing and able to please come with us when we go up to the Temple Mount to, uh, to visit God and to, uh, to pray to God when we um, are able to as soon as we finish our seven days of mourning. So uh, I was uh, personally 
involved with that. They gave me an opportunity, like I said, I go up from time to time to the Temple Mount, and this was an opportunity for me to do so. So I went also with my wife and with hundreds of other people who prepared to, co to, go to answer the call of Rina and uh, Amichai Ariel. Their last name is Ariel, so is mine, but there's no connection. But uh, I do believe that we both chose that last name. We Hebraicized our last name for the same reason, and that is the name Ariel actually is another name for the Temple Mount itself. So uh, they, are, they, they show how close they are to that, and, and uh, we do too, the Ariel families. So hundreds of people arrived. Not all hundreds were in, uh, able to go up. Here is a picture of uh, Rina and Amichai uh, as they uh, started going up to the gate towards the Temple Mount. Um, I'm actually facing them in this picture. That's why I'm not in this picture, but uh, I was near them. Couldn't find any pictures of me with them. But uh, for, for much of the tour on the temple, uh, I was near them. A, it was a very special uh, visit to the Temple Mount because, as I said, for political reasons, it's very difficult for Jews to visit the Temple Mount today, and there's many restrictions that are put on them. This was a visit with barely any restrictions. Um, the, the, we had about 50 people going up together with us on this uh, visit. We walked all around the perimeter of the Temple Mount. And, uh, of course, we did not go into the uh, Golden Dome itself, the spot of the Holy Holies, but we just went around on the perimeter of the, of the, of the complex, of the compound, which is uh, for sure what is permitted to do. When we reached the spot, which is just facing the Holy of Holies, here again is the, is the uh, Golden Dome, but the, that is the spot that the temple stood as well. Uh, Rabbi Amichai Ariel uh, stood and addressed the people who were with us. Again, we're about 50 people here. These gentlemen over here are guards from the Waqf. That's the um, a Muslim a, a committee for the Temple Mount, and they're there to make sure that no Jews um, say a prayer or, or move their lips even. Uh, crazy stuff. But, Yehu, but uh, Amichai Ariel, um, observing the end of the days of the uh, um, morning for his daughter took this opportunity to address the group and tell them how we're looking forward to uh, the Jewish people being able to come back to the land to the land of Israel and to the Temple Mount and thank God said Amichai we will one day have that day like it was in the past, that the priests would stand here and say the holy, bre holy blessing. And Amichai himself, Mr. Ariel, is a priest himself, and he took this opportunity to s slightly disguise his own point of saying this blessing and blessing all the people here who were with us. It was tremendous. And... Uh, it was a miracle also because none of these uh, guards who their job is to make sure that nobody prays noticed that uh, Amichai Ariel was doing this prayer and everybody afterwards said Amen. Um, we look forward to the day again that the temple is rebuilt. Here is a, uh, a model of the temple standing on Jer in Jerusalem. And uh, I'm very grateful that you listened to this um, lesson and if you have any questions you can email me at uh, gidon at uh, rootsource.com and uh, let us uh, pray that we will one day meet in Jerusalem uh, and serve our Lord together on the Temple Mount. Shalom, shalom.